Hi everyone, today I'm going to walk you through my new uh, acquisition which is the Samsung Galaxy S2 um, phone. I just got that a couple of days ago and uh, you know it's the noble black color and just look at the specs at the back 16 gigabytes Android and it's got the super AMOLED uh, uh, screen uh, box very iPhone-ish I guess in the sense that uh, I think uh, all you get inside is really just uh, the phone as well as uh, the earphones and the power socket and all of that stuff right um, I don't think you're interested in that now this is what um, the phone actually looks like so I'm showing you the back of the phone and you can see Samsung uh, 8 megapixel uh, it's got a nice little um, rough texture to it. I think you can see that now. You can see the grain at the back of the phone. Um, what's amazingly awesome about this phone is the width of the bloody phone, right? Sorry for swearing, but <laughs> got a bit too excited there. It is so damn thin. Um, you know, to put it in comparison, um, I'm gonna, you know, compare this to some of the phones in in the following few minutes. But um, let's have a look at the front of the phone. So you've got the um, power button at the bottom, not the power button, the home button, and you've got the two megapixel camera on the front, and you've got an over a four inch screen. I don't know exactly how big the screen is, but it is super damn big. Um, and then you've got the volume rocker, uh, standard 3.5 mm um, earphone jacks, and uh, I think you've got the power button on the right. So I'm just going to show you what the screen looks like. Isn't that an amazing screen? Seriously, guys, have a look at that screen and tell me that you don't love it. AMOLED really, really makes this look and feel smashing right so there we go you can see now how clear this screen is yeah and in terms of performance mind you this phone is smooth it is so smooth as a baby's bottom look at when I move these apps around it can really take it. Now it's got a core, dual core a processor, 1.2 gigahertz, and I think it's either 756 megram or 1 gig RAM, I don't remember, but this is amazingly fast. Um, back again to the home. Now to sort of show you um, what exactly this can do in terms of graphics. Um, I am going to actually load up um, one of the games I've got in here. Uh, amazingly enough, Samsung does a fantastic job of built-in free software. Um, so when you go onto the Samsung Apps um, module, you'll actually, um, you know, uh, get access to a whole bunch of free apps which they've done. And one of the free apps they've given us Polaris Office. Unlike most of the other offices, Polaris Office actually allows you to even create PowerPoint files, but I won't uh, really get into that. Um, let me just look for my games folder. Uh, I don't know where it is. Have I lost it? Mm. Oh, there we go. I'm going to just quickly get into Asphalt 6 HD and have a look at this. Have a look at how stunning this graphics is it is smooth and it is ac accurate and amazingly zippy okay let's increase the volume so if anyone says there isn't an iPhone 4S killer phone uh, out there they gotta come and check this out and I'm serious about it. Is this this phone would, or probably already has given uh, Apple a run for its money in terms of pure hardware uh, specifications and um, 
um, user friendliness. Uh, it's just the fact that it's Samsung, it doesn't have the market hype. But really, if you're looking for an Android phone, this is the one you should be looking at. So I hope that sort of uh, gave you some comfort in terms of uh, what you can do in terms of playing games. Um, really, you know, in terms of applications for Androids, I just want to just want to get into that for a bit. Look, it's got a, a lot of stuff going for it. Um, in terms of uh, you know, all my basic needs are already there. Um, so if I go to the Reader Hub, now this is a bit like you know your newsstand or your iBooks or whatever, which um, which Apple keeps talking about. So that's it. So you've got Press Display, which gets all the newspapers from PressDisplay.com. Uh, you get the books from Kobo, and you get the magazines from Zenio. So this is really all that you need, right? Um, uh, and I think the next part. Um, you might want to have a look at is is really all the apps now I'm going to just quickly run through the apps I've got on this uh, mind you um, a lot of standard ones um, provided on the phone so anyway you've got the FM radio you saw the games earlier on you've got the standard calculator the Polaris office um, you know YouTube speed test weather Adobe Reader uh, double twist what does double twist do it synchronizes your iTunes playlist guys um, it synchronizes all your iTunes playlists and um, uh, the good thing about it is it even um, captures the album art and all of that stuff yeah so you know you can actually see it this is all from iTunes all the album arts from there um, so that's what playlist does um, I'm gonna quickly just get back into the apps. You know, Evernote, Soundhound, nothing big. I've got my Bloomberg anywhere. Um, Fruit Ninja, Audible. So all my books are there. Audio books are there. Uh, my E-Trade trading app, my banking apps. Um, what else? All my social. Viber. Viber worked brilliantly yesterday, and so did Skype on Video Skype. Um, you know, WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter, the standard stuff. Um, books, I've got my Amazon Kindle Reader, which is great. I've got my travel stuff, Cathay Pacific, Singapore Airlines, and all of that. Um, what else do I have? I've got my news feeds as well, The Economist, Bloomberg, Wall Street Journal, Pulse, News 360. So look, in terms of functionality, the, the phone is just out there with pretty much whatever features you actually need. So don't, so don't hesitate getting an Android phone, especially if it's something like uh, the Samsung S2 Galaxy um, or if you plan to get the Nexus Prime, um, which I think is getting released anytime now, or even the HTC Sensation. Uh, that was the other phone I was looking at getting and then the shop didn't have it, so then I just went for this. Um, so listen, yeah, um, don't feel shy about Android. Um, there's a lot of hype there on Apple, but these babies have come a long way, yeah? So anyway, um, let's just quickly compare um, what these phones look like in terms of width. Okay, so that, if you recall, is the... Samsung Galaxy, right? Now, a good old iPhone 3. My 4 actually got nicked by my sister, so I've, I, and I've got the old 3, which I don't use anymore. So that gives you an indication of how thick the 3 is. Let's just get there a bit. It's a bit more thick. And then I've got what do I have here? I've got the HTC Desire HD. I get Android thick as a brick. You get the picture, right? It is thick, much thicker than the Samsung. Um, HTC HD2, a really old phone. Uh, thicker, I think you get the picture and I think this um, goes without mention 
Blackberry uh, 9870, thick and small, but really good as for messaging. Alright, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Cheers.